The vastness and magnanimity of the ocean is a wonderful sight that always piques the interest of many. It's even more jaw-dropping when you think of the daring engineering marvel of heavy machinery that has dazzled and performed incredible things not only on the sea, but also under it. You keep wondering how a 27 to 35 tons dredging machine manages to stay afloat on water, or the mechanism behind the precision of an underwater lift that ensures valuable underwater materials are easily recovered. You are not alone in this curiosity. Many people are also on the hunt for the right information about how these mind-blowing heavy machinery stay afloat while operating on water. Let's get started with some answers to your curiosity. Liebherr Mobile Harbor Crane LHM 800. The giant LHM 800 Mobile Harbor Crane has become a staple in ports and terminals worldwide because of its lifting capacity, container handling, and all-round versatility. Equipped with the latest generation of EPA Tier 5 diesel engines, the LHM 800 has a very huge dimension and capability that allows the possibility of carrying out heavy-duty lifting operations with an outreach of about 13 meters and a massive 308 tons heavy lifting capability that amounts to about 22 rows of containers at a go. It's pretty obvious that safety and precision are the most important criteria when using a mobile harbor crane for heavy lifting operations, most especially one of this size. The LHM 800 mobile harbor crane has an extensive hydrostatic drive system in place that powers the crane's various functions, including freight handling, turning, and luffing. The lifting mechanisms of this LHM 800 are a wonder to behold with its powerful four-rope grabbed control winch system that is driven by a hydraulic motor that converts hydraulic fluid pressure into a mechanical force that provides a firm grip on the wheel to stop any movement during cargo lifting and lowering operations. Along with the winch system are outriggers that extend outwards from the crane base. The outriggers provide stability and support by distributing the load across the chassis onto the ground to prevent the crane from tipping over and proper handling of the stress and strains during the cargo lifting operation. The LHM 800, coming from the premier crane maker Liebherr, has made the machine an emblem of safety, precision, and versatility with the development of components like Secretonic systems which allow two different Liebherr Mobile Harbor cranes to be operated simultaneously by one crane driver. Isn't that wonderful? Another related new age feature of the LHM 800 is the pull cylinder that ensures swinging cargo loads do not collide with the cranes. There's also an X-shaped support base that reduces the torsion strain on the steel structure and guarantees optimum stability during cargo handling operations. Historical background of Liebherr Crane. Liebherr's development of cranes started in 1949 with the sole aim of increasing the ease of post-war reconstruction work in Europe. The company invented the first ever mobile tower crane known as the TK-10. However, over the centuries, Liebherr has ventured into producing specialized cranes for various operations most especially the maritime industry. Among their most notable cranes in the maritime industry are the LHM 800 Mobile Harbor Cranes, Ram Luffing, RL, and Board Offshore Cranes, BOS, Portal Cranes, Water King, Amphibious Excavator, WK400. While we are more familiar with traditional excavators that are popular in mining, road construction, digging and drilling functions, there is the Water King, WK400, amphibious excavator that handles the swampy terrain that these standard excavators cannot go. Water King amphibious excavators, WK400, otherwise called the floating excavators or mash buggies, with 270 horsepower engine capacity is currently among the biggest amphibious excavators you can find around. Thanks to the powerful travel motor and the classic pontoon system, the Water King amphibious excavators are designed to handle larger projects such as mowing, dredging, clawing, and digging on water with a depth between 4 to 6 meters without capsizing. 
Additional components on the WK400 amphibious excavators is the arm and perforated bucket with a digging force of 35,000 pounds and a digging depth of 30 feet that are operated by the hydraulic cylinders to remove invasive aquatics vegetation, sediments, and other shoreline restoration activities. There are also additional hydraulic spud poles that are designed to go through the two sides of the pontoon instead of being mounted on the back, which is common on other amphibious excavators. These spud poles, measured 20 to 30 centimeters, provide robust stability for the excavators during dredging operations. With the inclusion of a dredging pump and hydraulic power pack, that is another extensive attachment that's attached to the machine and operated from the cabin, the WK400 has the capability of being used as a full-fledged cutter suction dredger, such as navigation channel and port development maintenance. Historical background of Water King Amphibious Excavator. The ingenuity of Noop Bagerwerken and Van der Es in 1990 brought about the creation of the revolutionary multifunctional Water King Amphibious Excavator to bridge the increasing need for wetland restoration in the Netherlands, France, Belgium, and Germany. Water King's passion and commitment to excellence prompted the development of their first ever amphibious equipment, the Shredder Dredger in 2006, which was followed by the manufacturing of an amphibious excavator and other accompanying pieces of equipment in 2007. Over the last few years, Water King Amphibious Excavator has become one of the major market leaders in the manufacturing of innovative products, including amphibious excavators WK20, WK55, WK95, WK150, WK220, and WK300, WK400 series, and many others. The Claw Underwater Lift. From the stable of Versabar Engineering Limited, we have another wonderful engineering marvel of maritime operation, an underwater lifting device named the Claw that's stationed and controlled by the all-powerful VB-10,000 vessel. This innovative solution was designed to eliminate the over-reliance on human divers to salvage submerged vessels and sunken objects that had been knocked off their bases by hurricanes or were in need of decommissioning. The claw is two identical grappling devices that are measured 122 inches tall and 122 inches wide with a total weight of 2,000 tons. The working mechanism of the claw is so simplistic in the sense that each set of the massive steel jaw has a giant lift truss and two hinges that can be opened and closed using a hydraulic cylinder. Another interesting aspect of this device is that each claw can be operated independently while picking up any dimension of objects from the seabed with utmost efficiency. With a total lift capacity of about 4,000 tons and a maximum depth of 350 feet, the claw is further complemented with another component called the cradle, which is put in place to facilitate ease of lifting heavy loads from the seabed. The cradle is a custom engineering basket that is lowered into the sea adjacent to the sunken object in conjunction with the claw, which will serve as the base upon which the object will be placed for safe recovery into the surface. So once the claw has grappled the sunken object and deposited it into the cradle, the entire claw components together with the cradle will be hoisted back to the surface and carried around by the VB-10,000 vessel. Historical background of Versabar Engineering. Versabar Engineering is a global leader in the development of underwater heavy lifting equipment and other solutions. Founded in 1981 by John Kachaturian, the company has gone ahead to pioneer and register over 56 patents in the development of underwater heavy lifting products, most especially the bottom feeder heavy lifter system that was manufactured in 2006. Four years later, in 2010, the changing tides of demand prompted the company to roll out VB-10,000 with a large steel basket cradle, an improved version of the bottom feeder heavy lifting system with the capability of lifting heavier seafloor salvage. In a move to totally eliminate the need for human divers, Versabar started the development of the claw system in 2011, 
and has since then cemented its status as a major market leader in the underwater heavy lifting manufacturing industry. Thank you for staying around till the end of the first episode of this series. Give this video a thumbs up and smash the subscribe button so you can get notified when we put up another video.